Hi, Randy from Atlas Gunworks here, and we're going to discuss putting a thumb safety in our 1911-2011 pistol. I disassembled it down to the point where I can do the work. So I've got the beaver tail out, have the main spring and uh, the sear spring and all that stuff in place, all the components in place. Um, and now I'm going to work on putting the safety in. So before I start, I'm going to just check on my fitment here, the two halves to go together. You don't want them to be too tight or too loose. It'll make disassembling the gun a pain in the neck later on. So I like those. So no adjustments are needed there. Say it was too loose. I can take my hammer, put this on the edge of my bench vise, give it a little tap, and it'll close it up. Um, give it a tap and try it. You don't want to close it up too much. It's a pain in the neck to open them. Um, if you're for some reason you did have it too tight or you hit it too hard and, and closed it up you can get in there with a screwdriver I have a, a bigger screwdriver that I wedge in there and it kind of wedges it open pretty decent so um, that's what you need to do there to assemble the or fit the safety into the gun you have to have the hammer cocked make sure that you don't have it over over cocked just right where it's supposed to go and at this point I'm going to try the right side of the safety into the frame just to make sure everything works properly and there's no coating in the way or anything like that. This looks great. So I'm going to take that, get it out of the way. And the next thing um, I'm going to do is I'm going to try putting the other side in. And I don't know if you can see in here, but if you look, if you look in here, you can see the safety, the safety come up to the sear. Okay. So Get those in, and the uh, the knot, the tab on the safety is bumping up on the sear, and I need to I need to remove that. So, what you can do, one of the things, you can give a little tap here, and it will mark the end of the the side of the sear up, or sorry, the safety up, so you can see how much you have to file out. So if I look. I've got just a little mark right here, so I don't really have to take a ton off of this. Um, and we're working on that that flat surface right here. Um, when you buy one of these from us, the the gun's all coated, and, and we're leaving that surface clear of coating, so it'll be pretty clear where you're supposed to be working right here on that on this uh, shiny spot. Okay. So the tools required here, I have a ten inch, a ten eight. Uh, bench block and it's got a little slot right here for the safety to fit into And it leaves the part that you need to work on out and then a good file uh, I just happen to have a uh, what number six here right now And then I'm going to try to pair uh, file this staying parallel to the tool um, You know being careful to to try to stay really square and really flat while I'm working here I don't really have a lot to take off. So we're going to give this a try. Slide it in. Snaps up in place pretty decent. Could use a little more probably. There we go. Put back in the jig. Two more file strokes here. Okay. So that's pretty close. So uh, I'm going to guess that I've probably got it. And then what I like to do is put a little breakaway angle right here. I'm just working right on the the the, um, the angle from the flat that I was just filing on in the side, and just putting a little taking that corner off just a little bit. And 
I like the way that fits. So we're going to assemble the pistol. My detent back in. I guess I better put the beaver tail back in. All right side of the safety. Going to cock the hammer. Left side of the safety. Got my Atlas uh, Armors tool here. Put the detent in. Snap my two halves together. Put the slide on and we'll do a safety check. I like putting the uh, gun back together with the recoil system compressed like that. Got the barrel linked down. Just roll it over, give it a little tap. My armor's tool. Hold that barrel link in place. I got a slide stop around here someplace, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. And that rack in the slide releases the recoil system. So now we'll give the old safety a try here. Got safety on, hammer back, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger. Looks good. Nothing's moving. I'm watching the hammer on the way down. No movement there. Everything looks good. It's a pretty straightforward uh, task as long as you understand what all these parts are doing. And if you know how to take all the gun apart, I would say that you could probably tackle putting the safety in. Um, I hope this was a helpful video, and I look forward to seeing you all on the range. Thanks.